Secretary Pompeo sees Taiwan as a shining example of free what what the free people can do. And so this is one of the reasons why he must feel like a homecoming because it's not, not necessarily culturally speaking, but in terms of value and principle. You were senior policy advisor on China to Mike Pompeo, and the Biden administration has continued a tough stance um, on Beijing. Could you um, explain how their policy on Taiwan has changed? Well. I think you know the national consensus in the United States politics on China has been extraordinary, even miraculous, because you don't see this kind of consensus often at all across the aisles of the Congress in all industries, of business, academia, and uh, even in government. You see this extraordinary, extraordinary common understanding of the threat posed by the Chinese Communist Party. Not only to the freedom and the democracy of the United States, but also to the world. I think what China does really matters.、Um, we cannot really do nothing if a Chinese government locked up a million plus Uyghurs into concentration camp. That's what happened for decades. We normally don't do protest as vigorously as we did during the Trump administration. Many of the problems in this troubled relationship they were there for decades. However. We don't have a national leader courageous enough to make the move to actually reverse the direction of U.S.-China relationship.、Uh, trade deficit has been going on for a long time. Intellectual property theft by the Chinese has been going on for a long time. China's abuse of human rights has been gross, right, for many, many, many years.、Uh, so、uh, we don't have any effective way to counter to push back. And I think you know、uh, this is the one reason why. The Trump administration's policy、uh, overall is pretty revolutionary in its nature, and、uh, that legacy actually、um, is not just the how great we were necessarily, but also it's reflective of the national consensus, the mood. So I don't think you know uh, uh, either Biden administration or Trump administration、uh, their policy toward Taiwan when it comes to the issue of China. I think that both sides agree,、uh, near 100 percent. It's not 100 percent, but near the 100 percent, and I'm very pleased to see that. Secretary Pompeo's trip takes place at a time when there's been much speculation about him running for president in 2024 on the Republican ticket. What can you tell us about this? You know, that's a good question. I'm going to ask him tomorrow morning, and then I'll tell you later. Thank you, Miles.、Um, and is there anything else that you would like to tell Taiwan? Let freedom reign. And uh, uh, what uh, Taiwanese people have achieved、uh, in the last、uh, several decades is absolutely wonderful and uh, uh, and marvelous. And I think this also、uh, set a good example for all Chinese-speaking communities around the world. Freedom, democracy creates happiness. And Taiwan has recently been ranked as Asia's number one democracy. That's amazing, coming from the shadow of the the past.